Okay, this is a brief tour of your uh, My Open Math site for Math 93. The first thing you'll need to do is log on to Blackboard, and when you go to Blackboard, you'll see a course that's listed Math 93. So click on that course, and you'll get to a site like this. Um, now, at this point, the only thing on the actual Blackboard site is a link that takes you to My Open Math. This allows you to go to My Open Math without creating an account or using another login. So you just use Blackboard, your login to Blackboard, to get you to My Open Math. Then when you click on this link right here, that gets you to My Open Math, and this is everything for your course. Gradebook, your uh, a free calculator, your free textbook, all this stuff is on this site. And the way this works is that uh, you can open up these and see what's in each area. So the rest of these sections are sections from uh, that, that are on the course that have a, a test with them and homework assignments. But uh, the first one just has some uh, material on it that you need to read through, like for example the syllabus. This tells you about late passes, how many assignments uh, uh, there are and how many points there are for different things like assignments and tests and um, all that sort of thing is in the syllabus and you should read through that. In fact one of the first homework assignments down here homework zero which is not available this this when I recorded this because this is the end of a semester but uh, but you'll notice it highly uh, being able to be clicked on. Homework zero goes over a lot of the policies in the class and how to put in your uh, entries into uh, assignments and tests. So that's uh, what's here, the syllabus. So go through that. This right here is a little form that you can uh, type in questions that go out to the entire class. But all your homework questions also have a, a link on them where you can click to send a question to the entire class or to uh, the instructor. So um, a lot of people just don't click here. They just use it when they need it in the homework problems. There's a link on that. Um, here are uh, many of the videos. There's uh, tons of videos for this course. Some are listed separately like these, and then others are listed a as a link on the uh, uh, questions. So, for example, this course starts with Chapter 6, Math 93. You're already halfway through the free textbook here. So this course goes over these topics and uh, all the way up through chapter 9. And then uh, occasionally there's some questions from back in chapter 3 when you're doing chapter 7, but that's that's listed in there. So there's a lot of videos here, and these are just videos that aren't even linked to your uh, uh, questions, but, but they go over the material that's in your free textbook. So there's also a free graphing calculator here. The free graphing calculator, clicking on this link, uh, will bring up a free graphing calculator and you just hit the menu key and you can go to the run menu to um, um, type in expressions you know like if you wanted to do one half plus three fours hit equals there you go it's five fours you can switch it over to decimal the calculator I recommend you to use is a better Casio than this one. Uh, it only costs about $20, and that's listed in your syllabus too. And in fact, the homework zero asks questions about what calculator should you use. And uh, uh, well, anyway, this this calculator in the Casio 115 that's $20 uh, can solve equations down here in the equation menu. This one does. And uh, so anyway, it's a great graphing calculator that's free for the course. And then you also have a uh, free textbook. And then each section, each chapter, I should say, has a link to the textbook. Like the textbook solutions are right here. When you click on it, you'll, you'll see all the solutions to, I think, just the even problems in the textbook. Well, let's click on it and take a look. So and see like for example one three just the odd ones are answered right here for all the sections then we start we do a little review of some sections in chapter five so if you want to check some problems out of the textbook on this you can so here's where chapter five starts and so on those are the answers for that and then now let me close this up so you can see this is now getting into uh, chapter six so you have a test on 6 1 to 6 3 and then these are the homework like when they say homework 1 6.1 homework 6.2 homework the first homework here is a review of uh, 5 1 to 5 7 and homework 0 here is a uh, is just going over the policies in the course but when you click on this to chapter 5 which is good for really just homework 1 
you get the textbook opens and you can scroll through chapter five and uh, and go through it as much as you need to and then the homework assignments like when you when you click on a homework assignment like this one right here well some of these have videos like this one right here it has a video for to help you with this particular problem and not all of them have videos but you know you can see a lot of these have videos with them and these are additional videos that are different than the videos that I showed uh, now I gotta go back in this sorry that I showed you at the uh, at the beginning right here they're different than these videos here the free the additional videos so the videos are free the calculator is free the textbook is free uh, and then so you go through these homework assignments and uh, and then here's chapter six and, and six one through six three and it takes you to the practice test and the uh, test and then most of the points come from the test and the tests are password protected so you have to take those in the uh, testing lab and that's that's how you go through a lot of these have PowerPoint slides with them too that you can uh, look at the PowerPoint slides if you like and uh, that's how it goes through this I don't know too much more the grade book let's see the grade book for you to see the grade book you click here and I don't want to show you the grade book right now because there's people's grades in it but when you click on grade book uh, you can see your grades and I'll show you uh, about three different options of grades one is grades based on things that are past due another one is past due and available and one is out of everything in the course so your best look is at looking at what's past due because once it's past due uh, then then that's what you have except if you, you use a late pass and I don't know if I can show you that here uh, let's see late pass most of this is is passed at this point and I don't think there's uh, but they'll say late pass is available and is and uh, you have five late passes and all this is described in the uh, syllabus and in the homework zero so that's what the entire course is about right there I hope uh, that explains it well for you. Again, use this, uh, use Blackboard to get to this, and then uh, it's called My Open Math, abbreviated M O M, like mom. And um, your grade book is, uh, it might not be listed off the side for you, maybe it might be listed on the top, but that's where you can get to the uh, grade book. And I don't know if I can see this on the homework assignments. Let me see here a second, uh, where it would show, like, post a question to the forum or to the teacher like here's one and uh, see these are passed through at this point so uh, some of these will say here message instructor about this problem so you can click on that if you had questions and you can uh, add information to uh, that so uh, like this and then you can type in a question like uh, uh, what does x squared mean and you see that it, you can even use these little uh, symbols. It's on the far left of your uh, of your uh, keyboard. That little symbol there, a little uh, like a I don't know what it would be like a whatever you that is. It's next to the one on the keyboard to type things that make them look make the uh, algebra that you type in look like this but you don't have to do that if you type it in I'll follow it even if you don't type it in pretty like that so uh, and then there's also a link that will say post a question to the forum and that sends it out to not only me but everybody in the class and if you can answer some of these questions that other people send uh, well that's that's real nice too so that's how that works and uh, if you have any questions email me and we'll be in good shape thanks